Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are here to tell you about the top 10 richest real estate developers. Who they are and how did they get here? We'll tell you all about it including the plans and strategies millionaires use to build and manage their ideal real estate businesses. Even if you are a novice and have no clue about this game, do not worry. We are here to hook you up with every possible detail that you would need to know. Let's get started. Number 10. Sam Zell Net worth $4.8 billion Sam Zell, a real estate market pioneer who has a net worth of $4.8 billion as of today. Sam Zell has been in the business since he was a child. Despite coming from a good family, he preferred to work hard to make money. He is ranked 10th among the world's top 10 real estate billionaires. Sam's first business was buying and bulk copies of Playboy magazines and reselling them for a profit. In addition, he imported copies of the magazine from the surrounding areas. Sam refers to this as his first lesson in supply and demand. During his university days, he launched a new venture, offering student apartments to wealthy students. Their first project included 15 houses. He spent a significant amount of time repairing the damaged apartments and making them presentable to his customers. He had successfully refurbished 4,000 properties by the time he graduated from university. He was able to move forward two years later. Sam's story of increasing profits began in 1968 when he founded his first company, Equity Group Investment. His plan was to buy undervalued and underrated land and properties in the United States. He intended to hold them for the long term in order to profit. The company quickly expanded its operations and became known as Equity International. Sam Zell now owns more than four public companies, including the largest residential real estate, REIT. Sam Zell is also known for closing the largest real estate transaction in history in 2007. In 2008, he successfully sold his equity office to the private equity firm Blackstone. Number 9. Stephen Ross – Net Worth $7.6 Billion Stephen Ross, the next real estate tycoon on our list, has a net worth of $7.6 billion. He began as an affordable housing developer but quickly expanded his investment portfolio. He now owns Sun Life Stadium, the Miami Dolphins, the Hard Rock Stadium, and the related companies. He is ranked 10th on the list of the wealthiest people who made money by investing in real estate. He is ranked 9th among the world's top real estate billionaires. Ross also has properties in Shanghai and Abu Dhabi. He also owns RSE Ventures and Kangaroo Media Fan Vision. RSE Ventures is a private investment firm that focuses on technology, media, and marketing, sports and entertainment, and food and lifestyle. Number 8. Sun Hongbin Net worth $9.2 billion Sun Hongbin ranks 8th on our list of the richest people who made money investing in real estate with an estimated net worth of $9.2 billion. Sun Hongbin, who is more interested in global investments, founded Sunak China Holdings, China's largest real estate developer. He's ranked 8th among the world's top real estate billionaires. Sunak China has an interesting history. It began after Sun Hongbin was laid off from the well-known Lenovo Corporation. Sun Hongbin had to borrow money from Lenovo's founder, Liu Chunzi, to start his company. Sun was so successful in his real estate ventures that he soon listed Sunak on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Today. The company develops large to medium-sized construction projects and owns the Wanda Group of Hotels. Sunak China Holdings is also involved in a number of international entertainment projects. Number 7. Donald Bren – Net Worth $17 Billion Donald Bren's net worth is estimated to be $17 billion. As a realtor, he invested in Irvine, a company that owned 93,000 acres of land in South Carolina. He started a joint venture with his five partners. Initially, he held more than 34% of the stock. However, by 1996, he had become the sole owner of the company. He bought the entire stock. He is ranked 7th among the world's top real estate billionaires. In 1958, he requested a $10,000 bank loan to start his first business. Donald Bren's development of Orange County in the United States is one of the most notable achievements. He is praised for launching successful county projects. Today, this real estate tycoon owns 115 million square feet of property in South Carolina, among other things. Among these are several marines, hotel chains, office buildings, golf courses, over 30 shopping centers, and numerous apartment complexes. In addition, Bren owns 97% of the MetLife Manhattan Building. Outside of the United States, he has investment projects in Spain and Mexico. Number 6. David and Simon Rubin Net worth $16 to $18 billion Simon Rubin and David are brothers. With good strategy and hard work, these UK-based real estate moguls made a fortune. To date, the net worth is estimated to be between $18 billion and $16 billion. Bonds and cash account for more than half of their assets. The brothers from Bombay own numerous properties in London worth hundreds of millions of dollars. To save money, the pair initially invested in the metal and carpet industries. 
They made such large profits in the Russian metal market that the Russians dubbed them the Metal Tsars. When the Russian metal industry tanked, the brothers decided to sell their assets and start investing in real estate in London. The Rubin brothers currently own a number of notable properties, including the Millbank Tower, the American Express offices, the John Lewis Partnership Cooperation in Victoria, and the Connaught House. The Rubin brothers have numerous business ventures in Europe outside of the United Kingdom. Number 5. Wang Jin Lin Net worth $20.2 billion The Dali and Wanda Real Estate Group is one of China's most well-known corporations. Wang Jian Lin is the chairman of this real estate behemoth. His company invests in a variety of industries, including media, construction, entertainment, industrial manufacturing, hospitality, healthcare, sports, technology, and financial services, in addition to real estate. Jian Lin is the son of a foot soldier, values hard work and discipline. Before becoming a small business owner, he worked in the army, but he was soon decommissioned. Disappointed, he joined the government, but Wang Jian Lin quickly realized it was not for him. He was forced to live with his mother-in-law in 1989. After a few months, he accepted a job at a bankrupt real estate firm. With his tireless efforts, the indebted company turned a profit and Wang Jianlin was able to take over as CEO after only three years. In 1992, he began his prestigious company with a small investment of $80,000. He had no idea what would grow bigger and bigger with the time at the time. To date, the self-made billionaire is estimated to be worth $20.2 billion. The initial motivation for Wang Jianlin's real estate investment was to make quick money. Later on, he decided to make it his long-term project. Wang Jianlin's company works on projects in Chicago, Sydney, London, and Madrid in addition to China. Number 4. Prince Alwaleed bin Talal Aslaud, Saudi Arabia Net worth $22.7 billion When it comes to business and money, who can forget the Middle East? The region is well known for its wealthy sheiks, skyscrapers, and luxury construction projects, as well as real estate developers. Prince Alawid bin Talal Assad is one of Saudi Arabia's wealthiest real estate tycoons. His massive real estate portfolio is worth at least $22.7 billion. The prince owns a number of businesses, including the well-known Kingdom Holding Company. Real estate development, hotels, hospitality, retail, entertainment, petrochemical, aviation, tourism, and agriculture are all areas in which the firm actively invests. Twitter, Snap, Lyft, and Citigroup are among Saudi's company's most visible trading ventures. According to Lamudi, the prince owns some of the most opulent hotels in the world, including those in Paris, London, and Saudi Arabia. That is most likely why the Times Magazine refers to him as the Arabian Warren Buffett. The prince's other investments include Coca-Cola, Priceline.com, Worldcom, and Ford Motor Company. He is also the majority shareholder in all the major companies in Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. His net worth was estimated to be $37 billion in 2018, but it fell after his arrest. Number 3. Yang Huiyang Net worth $27 billion Yang Huiyan's late billionaire father left her property. With an estimated net worth of around $27 billion in 2018, she is considered the wealthiest woman in the entire Asian region. She is ranked third among the top real estate billionaires on our list. Yang's company, Country Garden Holdings, is well known internationally, particularly in Australia and Malaysia. The Forest City is Country Garden Holdings' most popular project. It is a significant investment because the project requires $100 billion to be completed successfully. Yang has demonstrated exceptional business acumen as a real estate developer. She has been contributing to the Country Garden Holdings since she was 20 years old. Her fortune tripled in a matter of days in 2018, thanks to a surge in the value of her company's stock. She allegedly made $2 billion in a matter of weeks. Her achievement placed her as the year's fourth richest person. Yang is also the CEO of Bright Scholar Education Holdings, a well-known Chinese training and development firm. Her father was a self-made real estate broker. He didn't have enough money to cover his university expenses. He worked hard to establish himself in the real estate industry. His family is now enjoying what their father left for them. Number 2. Hoi Kaiyan Net worth $26.8 billion Hoi Kaiyan is a Chinese real estate tycoon who is worth more than $26.8 billion. His firm Evergrande Real Estate is regarded as one of the best in the real estate industry. Internationally, the company develops commercial, residential, and hotel projects. He is ranked second on our list of top real estate billionaires. Hoi Kaiyan also owns Wu Yang Iron and Steel Corporation, Guangzhou Pengda Group Limited, and several other companies. What makes Hoi Kaiyan more interesting is that he's a former teacher turned real estate agent. He has demonstrated that teachers can also be excellent real estate developers. Hui received his metallurgy degree and became a university professor in 1982. However, his interest in real estate compelled him to start a new property venture due to his strong management skills. People initially underestimated his capabilities as a real estate developer. 
Hui Kaiyan, on the other hand, has become synonymous with Chinese real estate success. Evergrande is currently operating 740 projects in China. Some of these projects include Evergreen, Oasis, Wuhai, and Inner Mongolia, Evergreen, Spring City, Emping, and Guangdong, and Ocean Flower Island in Hainan. Hui is also a successful investor in Hong Kong and Australia. Hui enjoys sports in addition to business. He has a soccer team and professional football club. Number 1. Li Xiaoqi, net worth $32.3 billion Li Xiaoqi is named Hong Kong's wealthiest person by Forbes Asia. His net worth is expected to be $32.3 billion in 2021. Li owns a number of hotel chains, cafes, and internet service providers. Henderson Land Development, his property conglomerate, accounts for a sizable portion of his fortune. Henderson Land Development's two most notable building projects in Hong Kong are the International Commerce Center and the International Finance Center. Li grew up poor, unable to afford meat more than twice a month. Today, he is known as Hong Kong's Buffett. He also made a lot of money from his stock investments in China. Henderson, his real estate development company, was founded in 1976. Since then, the company has brought him fame and fortune. However, Lee experienced a temporary setback in 2019 when he shared his chairmanship with his sons Peter and Martin. Lee is the CEO of Miramar Hotel and Investment, the Hong Kong and China Gas Company, and Sung Hong Kai Properties Limited, among others. He is also a significant shareholder in the Hong Kong Ferry Holdings Limited and the Bank of East Asia Limited. This is all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell icon as well to get notified about our future content.